In this video, we're going to be taking a look at money and how to divide money. The goal for today is to be able to find quotients of money amounts divided by one digit divisors. Now, it's important to know that whenever you divide with money, that the only thing that is different with dividing with money is that you have a dollar sign and then you have a decimal point. Everything else is the exact same. You can see my steps, divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down are all the same. I have my dividend inside my um, division house and my divisor is right outside. Okay, so everything's the exact same. So the first thing that we want to do before we do anything else so we don't forget is we're going to write our dollar sign to begin with. Okay, and then also we're going to take that decimal point and move it right on up to our quotient and now we can start dividing. We can ignore the decimal or the dollar sign and we can ignore the decimal point as well. So the first thing that we want to do is see how many times we're going to divide. How many times 6 goes into 7 and that goes one time. We're going to write our 1 right here. Then after we do that we are going to multiply. I'm going to make this a little wider. We'll put our 1 here. There we go. And then we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply our 1 times 6. Okay, and that's going to give me 6. Now it's time to subtract. 6 minus 7, just like we normally do. 6 minus 7 does give me 1. We check to see if that 1 is less than our divisor, and it is. Now it's time to bring down. We're going to bring down that 8. Now anytime you bring down, you go right back up to dividing again. Okay? So we're going to divide again. 6 into 18 or 18 divided by 6, that's going to give us 3. So we've divided, now it's time to multiply. And we are going to multiply 3 times 6. It's going to give me 18. Now it's time to subtract after we've multiplied. 18 minus 18 is going to give me 0. Now we bring down, we check that 0, make sure it's less than the divisor, and it is, and we're going to bring down that other 0. Okay, now we've brought down, it's time to divide again. 6 into 0, or 0 divided by 6, is going to give me 0. We'll write that right up in our answer. Okay, then we can multiply 6 times 0. It's going to give me 0. As you can see, we can subtract. Use the correct ink here. We have our 0 here. We can subtract. And 0 minus 0 does give me 0. Okay, now whenever you're dealing with money, it is important that you do not have a remainder at all. Okay, so we have $7.80 divided by 6 gives me $1.30. Okay, I want you to continue to follow along with me as I do this for you. Okay, now we have $8.28 divided by 9. Okay, remember whenever we divide with money, same exact rules that we follow. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. The only thing that's different is you have a dollar sign and a decimal point. The first thing we want to do before we do anything else we want to put that decimal point and that dollar sign right up in our quotient so we do not forget now that we have the dollar sign and decimal point in that quotient we can divide like we normally would okay so the first thing we're gonna do is see if eight can be divided by nine and since eight is less than nine it cannot okay so we can put a zero right here in our answer now we're gonna do eighty two divided by nine I knew, and I know that 9 can go into 82 the most amount of times without going over 9 times, okay? So we have 9 here. Now it's time to multiply. We're going to multiply the number in our quotient by our divisor. So 9 times 9 is going to give me 81. Now we put our 1 from our multiplication, the number in the 1's place, right underneath the number that we put in our quotient. Okay, we just move out from there. Okay, now we have 81 minus 82. It's time to subtract. And we have 2 minus 1. Now we're going to check. We're going to make sure that 
um, answer in our subtraction problem is less than our divisor and you can see that it is less than that so now we can move on we can bring down our 8 and now it's time to we brought it down now it's time to divide again okay we have 9 going into 18 or 18 divided by 9 and I know that's going to give me 2 okay now we have we've divided now it's time to multiply 2 times 9 is going to give me 18 so we've multiplied now it's time to subtract 18 minus 18 is going to give me 0 okay now there's nothing else to bring down and now that we're now we're finished with our division problem so we have eight dollars and eighty two cents divided by nine gives me zero and ninety two hundredths would be the um, just standard form if we weren't dealing with money but this actually represents ninety two cents okay so if you have eight dollars and eighty and twenty eight cents giving it to your nine closest friends each friend would get ninety two cents okay I want you to get out your pencil now and I want you to follow along with me in your notes and do this problem with me okay so I want you to write down five dollars and eighty-five cents divided by three okay so the first thing you need to do whenever you do a problem like this we want to write our dollar sign up in the quotient and also move our decimal point right up okay now that we've done that we can basically ignore the dollar sign and the decimal point we're going to go through our division problem just like we normally would, dividing, multiplying, subtracting, checking, and then bringing down. Okay, so the first step we see is to divide. 3 into 5, okay, is going to go 1 time, or 5 divided by 3 can be will be 1. Now that we've done this, we're going to multiply 1 times 3, and 1 times 3 is going to give me 3. I'm going to use a different color ink here, it's going to give me 3. Okay, now that we've multiplied, now it's time to subtract. 5 minus 3, okay, it's going to give me 2. Now we can check 2 is less than 3. Since 2 is less than 3, that means we can move on. We can bring the next number down, the next digit down, which is 20, or 8, making it 28. Okay, now that we've done that, we've brought down, now it's time to go right back up to our dividing step 28 divided by 3 okay it's going to give me 9 put that up on our quotient now we've divided now it's time to multiply 9 times 3 is going to give me 27 okay now that we've multiplied now it's time to subtract 28 minus 27 that's going to give me 1 we check that one that is less than three now it's time to bring down my five now we have the number fifteen it's important that you don't check this number the fifteen after you brought down you just check check the answer of your subtraction problem okay now we have fifteen we're gonna divide that by three fifteen divided by three is five Okay, now that we've divided, now it's time to multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. Now we have 15 minus 15. That's going to be 0. We check. That's less than our divisor. So we don't have any other numbers to bring down, so that means we are finished. So $5.85 divided by 3 gives me one dollar and ninety five cents okay it's one more problem I want you to do with me we have three dollars and sixty eight cents divided by eight. First thing we will do is write our dollar sign and decimal point right up on our quotient then from here we can start dividing just like we know how to do okay so the first thing we will do is eight into three that cannot work we're going to put a zero up on the quotient now we're going to look at 36 divided by 8 and I know that 36 
divided by 8, or the most amount of times 8 can go into 36 without going over, would be 4 times. Okay, now it's we've divided. Now it's time to multiply. 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is going to give me 32. We've multiplied. Now it's time to subtract. 36 minus 32 is going to be 4. I'm going to check 4 is less than my divisor so I can continue on. Okay, I checked it. Now it's time to bring down my 8. Okay, now that I've brought it down, I'm going to divide again. 8 into 48 is going to go 6 times. I've divided. Now it's time to multiply. 6 times 8 is going to give me 48. Now it's time to subtract. 48 minus 48 is 0. I check that 0, make sure it's less than my divisor. I don't have any other numbers to bring down, so that means I'm finished. So $3.68 divided by 8 gives me 46 cents. Okay, what I want you to do now is copy this problem down, complete it in your notes, and when you're finished, you can press play and I will have the answer for you. So pause the video now. Okay, so here's the answer to the problem. $4.23 divided by 3 gives me $1.41. This is one last problem I want you to work out in your notes. It's $5.58 divided by 6. You can work it out. When you're finished, you can press play and I'll have the answers for you. So pause the video now. Okay, so we have the answer of 93 cents. And you can see all the different steps that I did. The first thing I did before did any step is I moved that dollar sign and decimal point right up into the quotient. So this is how you divide money by one-digit divisors. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.